Hello beautiful beings of light, my name is Amazi and welcome. Um, I have made this video because I am creating a event online um, on the 6th of June 2020 and um, I, the reason I've created this event is because I believe we as energetic beings that we are living in this third dimension uh, we are in desperate need to activate the body and to um, yeah, give life to the body, bring energy into the body and release whatever baggages we no longer need within our lives. Um, we are living very intense moments. Um, we are feeling many different emotions arising within us. Uh, one day we're living with fear, another day we're living with love. And um, dance is a very powerful um, uh, method that we have within within the system that we live in, within the world, the planet that we live in, that we can actually use to our benefit. So when you dance with intention, putting an intention within each dance and actually going somewhere with that dance and actively um, allowing your body cells to feel that intention, this heals the body. Therefore, it avoids any disease, any dis-ease within the body. Um, my story, the reason why I got into dance is because I, um, I'm an MC, a conscious MC. So I used to, um, I used to have a rock band in Spain a long time ago. Then I moved to London uh, to search my destiny within the music. I thought I was going to be the next Madonna. Although you know, it didn't actually happen that way. I got involved in the underground scene, and, and I was singing in a lot of clubs with DJs, and I was kind of lifting the vibration of the party within the rave and. Obviously, there's not, not a lot of PR, not a lot of AR people in raves, just a lot of people having a lot of fun. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I knew from a, from a long time ago that I needed to do something within dance and with my voice. Um, I then, um, in 2008, suffered a, a severe chronic back pain that went on for 10 years in my life. So through these 10 years of my life, I tried all sorts of different therapies, um, but dance was one of them that was very powerful for me. And um, I trained um, in vital development, which is a method, it's vital dancer, vital dancer, vital development. And what it does is um, it heals the body through dance, whether it be mythology, whether it be just activated the body, whether it be doing shamanic um, shamanic dances. There's, it's, it's a whole spectrum of um, different ways of um, interacting with um, your your body, the body language, you know, it's actually uh, connecting with one another at an energetical level. So when you come to these events, there's no talking, um, it's literally um, connection via eyes and movement of the body. And this um, allows us to be out of the rational mind, it allows us to go, to not be in the mind, but actually come to the heart. And this is ever so needed in the planet we are living in right now, for the planet to heal. And this massive shift, this massive great awakening that we are we are going through, communities slowing down, everybody is slowing down. This is the time while we are at home within ourselves to be able to dance freely, you know? Um, sometimes I, I find people find it very hard to, to dance freely or to dance without uh, being judged or um, you know, feeling a bit a bit of shame um, or, or, you know, not wanting to excel too much. But actually, this is a perfect opportunity for you to do so. You're at home, you know, there's no one around to tell you or to look at you or, you know, and if you are with a partner and your family, dance together. You know, this is the best healing um, thing that you can do right now, you know. It's activating the body and going to that power and feeling rooted in Mother Earth. So this event that we're going to be doing on the 6th of June, which is in two weeks' time, um, I'm going to be leaving the link for the Facebook event below in the description. Um, if you do not use Facebook, you could just email me and I'll send you the links to the streaming. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to do it with Zoom and also Twitch. However, um, I'm, I'm a bit new to all the technology, but I know and I'm very sure it will it will work out. <laughs> so bear with me with that if uh, there's any issues on the day. Um, but we are going to be dancing a new beginning. And that all relates to the phoenix bird. The phoenix bird is... The story of the phoenix bird relates to, um, you know, the phoenix bird... Uh, dies and 
the ashes go into Mother Earth, therefore, you know, we understand that as a leaving behind what no longer serves us because we carry around this massive baggage upon us like it's very heavy we carry around our body cells have so much waste to get rid of there's so much trauma that we hold on to the matrix is ginormous and um you know dance will help you in some way if you actively release that and the idea is that the phoenix bird in some way dies goes into the ashes and you know into mother earth and then you know, through the fire, and then rises out, out again from Mother Earth as a new being, a new life. I'm giving you the opportunity to start again, you know. It's like the flowers that blossom in the spring, you know, they come out every year. And they, they don't decide just to not come out one year. So, you know, it doesn't matter how many things you've been through, whether negative, positive, good or bad, they're all life experiences and they're only making you who you are today. Therefore, we're going to be dancing the phoenix bird. We are going to experience what it is to arise from the ashes and actually starting to move our wings, um, you know, like we've never seen this world before. So then we can actually create a new world, create the vision or objective or dream that you may have in your mind. It might be more of a collective humanity um, dream that you might, you know, if you're aware of the Great Awakening and you are in the fourth, fifth dimension and you're ready, we want, we might, you might want to kind of um, visualize this new world that we're coming to, uh, which is ever so exciting. But actually dance it in your dance and feeling it like if it's real and um, that's ever so powerful because your body cells are really feeling it you're no longer talking about it or watching videos on YouTube informing yourself of this information you are actually living it and and doing it through a dance so you know and for those of you who may have some sort of a conditioning or a pattern or or something that you might want to leave behind and um, we are going to be leaving behind into the fire whatever no longer serves us whether it be from our ancestors, our past lives, or whether it be something that comes from our trauma, from our from our inner child, um, from 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 our childhood, because a lot of the things gets a lot of these memories get stored within our body, and we hold on to them, and they trigger us. They trigger us today, as they did then, because our inner child is still living that experience within our subconscious mind. Therefore, it's really important to. Just release that, release that anxiety, release that stress, release that anger. And um, yeah, but be thankful and with love and say thank you, but this no longer serves me anymore. And put it into the fire, release it into the fire. And then you'll be ready to be uh, reborn again. The rebirth will happen and then you'll be able to fly and feel the air and and start again and start afresh and lighter and clearer. And this is really healing and this is what we need today. So, you know, if you be willing, you know, I've actually created a little a little um, promo, um, like a little taster for you to have a little listen and dance. So that half an hour, the actual event is gonna be two hours long, but it is a shamanic, there is a shamanic ritual involved. So it is gonna be, um, to be able to get to that meditative state and to be able to get to that, um you know to that state um really it takes time to build up to that because we live in a very systematic world you know a lot of worries a lot of traffic and emails and this and that but again it's a perfect time right now because we are quite calm and i feel that we are ready to go in and to heal and to work on ourselves so if you wish to join do um, you know just dance the taster and if you love it do join us on facebook uh the facebook event it will be below in the description and um Yes, I. Um, this is my calling. I feel that um, I have been given a voice and my life experiences made me go through body pain and the body pain. I've healed from the body pain now through dance and through other therapies. And I know that dance is so, so powerful. It's not just about playing music anymore it really we really need to go into the dances and actually feel the emotions to heal and to become to be, to become the best version of ourselves to become um you know yeah so that humanity comes together as one and we are able to live in this new world that we are all um looking forward to and um you know believing and and knowing that in the fifth dimension and when we are fully 
conscious and we are in that meditative state, we feel connected. You don't feel alone anymore. You don't feel those negative misaligned emotions that pull you down. You, you feel like it's clear, you know, you know where you're going and you feel connected to the world, to everybody, because we are one. So, you know, if we can push towards the towards being in that state more and more, you know, the higher the vibration raises in the world and in the planet, the faster we are going to come to peace within and peace, um, you know, for everyone. So blessings, mwah, amazi, love and light.